Hello to my friends at Dyersburg Primary School. My name is Vanessa Kane. I'm the children's director here at MacGyver's Grant Public Library. And today I'm going to get to share a book with you that goes with your theme, our community, all uh, the places we go. This is book is a this book is a classic book. It is called On Market Street. It is written by Arnold Lobel. He wrote the word, so he's the author. And the illustrations are by Anita Lobel. And so she's the illustrator. She drew the pictures. And this book is a Caldecott Honor Book, which means that the illustrations won an award. So we're going to love looking at all of these illustrations. They're very detailed. They're very cool. I'll look at the front cover a little bit and see. This book was published by Green Willow Books in New York on Market Street. Look at that. One reason that I wanted us to read this today is because we're talking about our community. And in this book, it talks about going to Market Street and going to a bunch of stores. That's an old-fashioned picture, isn't it? Do you see the little boys wearing old-fashioned clothes? Look at all the detail on Market Street. What can you see in that picture? Oh, wow, I see some fruit and I see all kinds of shops and awnings and wonderful things in the window. The merchants down on Market Street were opening their doors. I stepped along that Market Street. I stopped in all the stores. Such wonders there on Market Street. So much to catch my eye. I strolled the length of Market Street to see what I might buy. I like that. That, um, text because it rhymes, doesn't it? Did you hear how the end of the um, sentence sounded the same? Like the words doors and stores and the word I and buy. And I bought, what would you buy in Market Street? Let's find out what he bought. Apples. And we had the letter A reminding me that apples start with A. That person's made of apples, aren't they? Books. I would buy the books. And there's the letter B to remind you that the first letter of books is B. Looks like we're going to go through the alphabet. And clocks. See? And donuts. Can you imagine a person made of donuts? There's a D. What's the next letter? E. That's right. And eggs. And flowers. Look at the F. Would you like to be made of flowers? That's so pretty. What's the next letter? G. That's right. And gloves. And H. Hats. And I is for ice cream. Would you like to be made of ice cream? You couldn't go out when it was very hot, could you? And J is for jewels. Look at all those jewels she's made of. Isn't that beautiful? Let's see what else. What comes after J? K and kites. There's a letter K. And L, lollipops. You see why these pictures won an award? Aren't they wonderful? Would you like to draw pictures like that? And musical instruments. Would you like to be made of musical instruments? It would be hard to be quiet if you were made of musical instruments, wouldn't it? And noodles. What if you were made of noodles? I would hope that somebody wouldn't boil me because then I'd be all loose and nobody could stand up if I was a noodle. And oranges. See the O? Oranges. And the next letter is P. And playing cards. Look at the... That's a king made out of playing cards. And what do you think Q will be? What do you think Q will be? Can you think of something that they could make somebody out of that starts with a Q? Qu, qu, qu. Quilts. What if you were made out of questions? And ribbons for the letter R. Quilts and ribbons go together. You can sew them up. And the letter S. All kinds of things you could be made out of that start with S. They pick shoes. Look at them. Made out of shoes. And toys for the letter T. Would you like to be made out of toys? You wouldn't get bored, would you? 
I want to show you this really quickly. Do you see these little, you see the frog and the toad puppets that they've got? These same author and illustrators did the frog and the toad book, so that's kind of neat. It's like a, just a little peek to remind you who's doing the book. <clears throat> All right, let's see. The letter, next letter is U. What would U be? <gasps> umbrellas. Letter U, umbrellas. Look at those umbrellas. Some are open and some are closed and see how they made like a little pants out of the umbrellas that were partially open. That's kind of cool. Even his shoes are umbrellas. V. That's Miss Vanessa's name. Starts with V. Vegetables. Would you like to be made out of vegetables? I don't think I'd mind until I started going rotten. Look. And W. Wigs. What if you were made out of wigs? Look at all those wigs. X. Xmas trees, Christmas trees. A lot of people put an X there instead of Christmas. Do you like to be made out of a Christmas tree? And yarn, just like the ribbons. Look at all of those yarn dresses and hair, and even his toes are yarn. And Z, made out of zippers. Let's see. My arms were full on Market Street. I could not carry more. As darkness fell on Market Street, my feet were tired and sore. There's those rhyming words again. But I was glad on Market Street. These coins I brought to spend, I spent them all on Market Street. There's more because we have to find something that rhymes with spend, don't we? There's another picture. And there he he is walking with all of those things that he bought with his money. Let's see what happens after. What could rhyme with spend? On presents for a friend. Let's read that last line again together. But I was glad on Market Street those coins I brought to spend. I spent them all on Market Street on presents for a friend. Look at all those presents. That would be a good birthday, wouldn't it? That'd be a lot of presents that you could get. I like that book. Did you like that book? I like it. I like how parts of it rhymed, and then we went through all the alphabet and those beautiful pictures, and I'm so glad that we got to share that together. So I'll see you next time, and until then, I want you to be really good for your teachers, and have a wonderful day.